YouTube, my name is Drika and today I'm back with another video and today video is going to be kind of different because as y'all know, I've been vlogging a lot and I haven't really been doing no sit down videos. So yeah, it's going to be a raw college freshman advice video and I'm just going to be giving y'all some advice because as a college freshman, I done been through a lot. I feel like I've been at this school for the longest because I done experienced a lot, I done seen a lot and I just know the ins and outs now. If y'all are wondering, I am I have changed my nose piercing, even though it's only been two weeks. Y'all, I hated that nose ring, and now I hate the hoop. So I gotta go get another nose piercing before the day over with. Make sure y'all follow me on all social medias. Turn on the bell to be notified whenever I post a video. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, the first piece of advice is, I'ma say, watch who you call your friend, okay? Because y'all, when I tell y'all these girls in college do not care, like they will set you up and not care about it. And I done experienced it in my friend group. Luckily, I wasn't the one getting set up, but it was close enough to home where I could feel the girl that got set up pain. That, and this happened like in December of last year, like it was that, Close. Another reason to watch who you call your friend because these friends will talk about you behind your back. They will they will talk about you to your group of friends and your group of friends will come right back to you and act about like everything cool when y'all just got done talking about me. And I experienced this firsthand, so I already know how it go, okay? So yeah, watch who you call your friends and I would advise y'all not to get in the, I'm not gonna say not to get in those group me um group chats but i'ma say if you get in those with me group chat do not think those folks like your friend for real those folks are not your friend for real like do not think that and do not come to college y'all real clicking up because you don't know these people for real in real life you know these people through a screen and because you know these people through a screen you don't know how they act for real so when you get to college you thinking they this way they a whole different person and now you stuck with the friend group because you don't know how to get out of it and that was me i'm gonna tell that story time because that was definitely me okay my next piece of advice is focus on work in college it is easy to get distracted and i know this like parties on top of parties people go out every night because I don't know why people think when they come to college, they life, like, they don't have to focus on school. They go out every night, every weekend, drink every day, smoke every night, and they stay away from their schoolwork. So now they thinking school not for them, when well, really, they wasn't paying attention and they wasn't doing their work. So now they failing and they drop, they dropping out of school. Like, so many people that was here last semester is not here this semester because of their exact reason. They was not paying attention in class. They failed all their classes, and now they think it's school not for them. But really, you just need to buckle down and do your work. That's it, that's all. My next advice is get cool with your advisor because those are the people that's gonna help you through the semester because I kid you not, through this semester, well, through this whole school year, I kept changing my mind about what I wanted to be. First, I wanted to be a physical therapist. Then I wanted to be a physician assistant. Then I wanted to be something else. It just, it just was a lot. I didn't know what I wanted to be, so I talked to my advisor, and she told me the jobs that I could get with that major, and I realized that major not for me because I don't want to be in the public health field, like, you know, teaching and doing community work. I don't want to do that in real life, so I had to change my major or whatever, and that'll be a different story time if y'all want to hear about that and what I'm going to do in the future because it's not physical therapist no more. I done made up my mind and I'm going for it, okay? Don't get a roommate. I'm not going to say don't get a roommate, but I don't have a roommate, as y'all can see, and I love it. Like, I, I'm, I'm to myself. I don't be in no drama or whatever. And the people with roommates, they be in hella shit. Like, they be in a lot of stuff. And either they find their roommate, their roommate talking about them, or them, the person in their roommate are in a whole lot of stuff. So that's why I decided to not to get a roommate because I'm real paranoid. I don't like people. And yeah, I just... I'm just antisocial, okay? So that's why I didn't get a roommate to be in the real 
raw reason why I didn't get a roommate. I don't like people. My next advice is take classes that will go towards your major. Honestly, we got to say art appreciation, first year seminar, what is it called? Like, I forgot what that class was called, but I made a B in it. What's it called? It called freshman 15 something, but I had to take it for whatever I had reason. I don't... Why has why I gotta take art appreciation, music appreciation? Why I gotta take that? I'm not gonna be learning. I'm not gonna be doing art with my major. I'm not gonna be learning about music with my major. I hate that, but I had to take it because it kind of towards my credits or whatever. But don't take nothing that, that don't count towards your major because you'll have to pay more money or whatever, and you'll have to pay a lot of money out of pocket. Don't take out no school loans, no emergency loan, none of that. Because what they don't tell you about those loans, you're going to have to pay them right back the next month. Oh, y'all, my hair is flying. Don't mind that. But you're going to have to pay them loans right back. And what if the people don't have the money? And I made, I was venting about this in one of my videos. I'm going to link it somewhere or whatever. But, yeah, I took out, at the beginning of school, I took out in a CSU emergency loan thinking that I would I could pay it back after I graduate so I took out like how much I took out I don't know but it was a lot please tell me why I get an email November 1st talking about some oh you have to pay this loan off or you'll get kicked out what like what or I would get kicked out that's what I hate like I paid it off but I hate that the people that's trying to get an education that don't have good support system or good family to pay off their loans and stuff, they would kick your ass out and not give a damn about it. I hate college for that. Like, if you don't have the money to pay for something, they would kick your ass out, drop you from all your classes, and you gone. I hate that. Like, that's just so stupid. Like, people who want to get a higher education should not have to pay out of pocket. That's just that. Don't eat out every night because that will cause you cause you a whole lot of money and you're going to go broke quick. Like, do not eat out every night. And I had to learn that fast because I came to college with a whole lot of money and that canned food is not it. So, I would go out every single day eating, eating, eating. And that would be about $200 a week. Breakfast and dinner because I don't really eat lunch like that. That's about $200 a week. That's a lot of money. Like... And then most of the people that come to college do not get a job because I don't know if their parents want them to focus on school or whatever, but they don't get a job. And I'm just like, and their parents are sending them $50 a week. And I'm just like, how do you live off of $50 weekly? Do you not eat every, do you not eat breakfast and dinner? How do you live off of $50 weekly? Like this, I don't know. I couldn't do it, but I'm not here to judge. But yeah, go to your online classes. At the beginning of the semester, I had prop. Well, at the beginning of last semester, I had problems with not going to my online classes because y'all, it would be in the morning. I would be bored and I would fall asleep. Don't lay in the bed while you're doing your online classes. Don't do that because you will fall asleep. Get up, sit at the desk, and do it. Write notes, highlight all that. Study. Don't think when you get to college, this work is gonna be easy because it's not. Study. Like you're gonna have to study. You can't you can't fuck up your GPA being stupid because then what if you don't get into graduate the graduate school that you want? And that's all because you didn't study, you didn't take school serious, and you then and you party every weekend your freshman year. That can fuck up your GPA. I think I'm in this video right here because that's all I can think about right now. If y'all wanna part two, let me know and yeah. So make sure y'all follow me on all my social medias. I'm going to link everything in the description box and I'm going to put it on the screen right here. Comment in the next video you want to see from me because I drop back to back to back to back to back weekly. So if you're not subscribed, you are a hater because you're going to be entertained over here. You're not going to be bored because I drop weekly. If you don't know me, my name is Drika and you should get to know me by watching my videos. Bye.